I got a small announcement to make for the channel and some new vinyl, mostly new, at least to me, or represses anyway, but all recommended directly by the vinyl community. to acknowledge something in case you might see me popping up on social media something I rarely do by the way but because you guys watch and comment on these videos and because I have a borderline obsession with the company vinyl me please they reached out to me to see if I'd be willing to work with them on some future marketing content so just to clarify all of the previous videos that I've made about Vinyl Me Please were just me sharing records from my record collection. They've never sponsored a video or given me anything so far, but that will or might change in the future. And if they do send me anything, I will be sure to note that right away in a video, especially if I'm reviewing something from them. I am extremely excited about this because one, I really do love the service. They have some amazing vinyl and even a pressing plan opening soon. So not only are they putting out great choices, but they're also also potentially helping to free the logjam of records being pressed out there, which is a great service to anyone who collects records. And two, the more brands that want to reach out to this channel, which I very much welcome by the way, please reach out to me below, the more I can justify making these videos to my wife, which in turn means I can make more videos for you guys. I want to do more interviews, I want to show more products, I want to do more record reviews, and just more things with vinyl and video, which are two of my biggest passions. So today's video is not sponsored by Vinyl Me Please. Today's video sort of has a sponsor, and that sponsor is the vinyl community. No joke, there are some serious shout outs here that are more than overdue, and these records came direct from these awesome channels, so I had to share all this vinyl that I've been getting direct from some of these awesome creators in the vinyl community. I'm gonna call these folks by their channel names so that you hear the name a lot and you can go subscribe to them. All the links for the channels are in the description below. The first one here is Soul Disco. I'm pretty sure she's from Germany. She is a huge wealth of knowledge and a great resource on soul records and other genres too. She did a great live stream talk Talk about reggae that I hope she does a round two on and that maybe I could join, please. She turned me on to this one, Barbara Howard on the rise, and this is exactly why you should follow Soul Disco. She mentioned this on a live stream and I immediately bought it. Had it shipped from Canada to the US, so it took a while to get here. This is a reissue from Coal Mine Records from a long lost album that I think they only pressed like 100 or so copies of originally, and even Barbara Howard's family didn't have a copy of it. This was a needle drop, so they didn't have a master tape to actually repress this. They actually found a sealed OG copy and did a transfer that way. So this isn't audiophile grade, but it sounds really good. It really reminds me of how Daptone did a similar thing with Bob and Gene, finding their master tapes and re-releasing those years later. This is a great pressing as well. Just so happens to be a Vinyl Me Please pressing. This was not intentional, but I have no shame. Vinyl Me Please makes some awesome products and this is proof. This is a clear vinyl with like a pink dab splatter. I really, really like the pressing of this vinyl. Also, the jacket is very nice nice heavyweight tip on and this exact pressing only has 500 limited copies as well. Soul Disco is so cool. She has a ton of soul records that I've never heard of and a lot that can be found on the cheap. Some of them not so cheap, but basically every time I see a video of hers, I pull out the notepad and I make a list. You should as well. Go check out her channel. Also, I think she was or is a singer herself. I'm not sure, but go follow Soul Disco. Links in the description and find out. This next piece of vinyl wasn't directly recommended from this channel, but he was definitely one of the inspirations behind this one. Concert Buddy is an awesome channel in the vinyl community that is definitely worth your time. He's always putting out good content and he's always popping up supporting a lot of the other channels out there. He also has a podcast and a YouTube channel and I'm actually gonna be on his podcast. So depending on when you watch this video, check for that link in the description and you might be able to watch that. Now, this piece of vinyl was directly inspired by him for three reasons, one, it's a soundtrack. He seems to like soundtracks or collect a lot of them. I've seen him talk about a lot of them on videos. Two, it's a 90s rock soundtrack and he and I are both children of the 90s. And three, speaking of him popping up on other channels and a bonus shout out here, Norman Maslow from his channel popped up on Concert Buddies podcast and he's from Seattle. And it got me thinking about the singles soundtrack from Mondo Records, volume one, apparently volume one, we'll get back to that in a minute. Orange translucent vinyl here from the original, which actually came out in 1992 and was on a single LP. Now this is way, way too much music for a single LP. So that OG might not sound very good. This is from Mondo Records, who specialize in soundtrack reissues. Now, 
my good friend Frank, who I'm trying to get on this channel and for a future video or two, he actually let me know about this when it came out. This is a murderer's row of the best music from the Seattle scene. Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, Smashing Pumpkins, Chris Cornell, Mother Love Bone, Mud Honey, Jimi Hendrix. The main song on this that I love is Seasons, which is a solo track from Chris Cornell. There's also a Pearl Jam track called Breathe that is also, I think, one of their best tracks, and Smashing Pumpkins, Drown. I think some of these tracks were recorded specifically for this soundtrack, but I do know that you could probably get like deluxe editions of Pearl Jam or Soundgarden that also have some of these tracks as well. But if you wanna get them all together, you have them right here on this awesome collection. This is a great movie as well. There were some really good actors in it, Matt Dillon and Bridget Fonda. Also, a lot of the bands actually starred in the movie, and they went to a lot of the real places that the bands actually played at in Seattle. So if you ever get a chance, just go check out the movie as well. It's a great movie. Cameron Crowe directed it, also the director of Almost Famous. It also includes this bonus 20 page Japanese Zine replica. It has lots of awesome behind the scenes photos and the whole thing's in Japanese. And it even has, I think, singles in Japanese here. It's pretty cool. The cover for this is really nice. It's a really nice premium gatefold jacket. And I really do like the OB strip that they've included with this. I notice here too, it actually says coming soon from Mondo Records singles volume two as well as jerry Maguire. so if you're interested in jerry Maguire, but singles volume two so it's probably going to be the additional stuff that was on the 25th anniversary deluxe edition that they've now included on vinyl they'll probably put out on a color vinyl or something like that in the future concert buddy inspired this one definitely go check out concert buddy's channel and his podcast. Another channel that I actually think I may have found through Concert Buddy somehow, I'm not exactly sure how I came across him, but it's YouTube, the algorithm just throws it up. As the table turns, I love his channel name by the way, just found this channel. We have a lot of similar tastes. He was firing off records in a video and I was like, got it, got it, need it, got it, had it, want it, got it. He has great tastes in jazz, funk, soul. He mentioned some coal mine stuff that I was actually already getting in the mail and then he brought up this one. Waltel Bronco Mio Blanco. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me know in the comments if I am or not. But just like the Barbara Howard from Soul Disco, as soon as he showed this, I was like, Brazilian funk? I listened to it online and I immediately bought it. It was actually pretty affordable as well. I think this might be a AAA cut from original master tapes, but I'm not sure on that. It is from Mr. Bongo Records, which puts out great reissues of amazing funk, soul, and psych music from all over the world. And this, as stated on Mr. Bongo's website, Flirting between jazz funk, cinematic library excursions, breaks and beats, easy listening and 70s cop show instrumentals. And I can confirm it is all of that and it is so good. There are moments of the easy listening stuff here or there, but then it's contrasted by this hard driving clavinet and bass lines that are just so sick. This is definitely worth getting. This just came out in 2023 and its last repress was in 2016. And that actually goes for a lot and it's pretty hard to find. Prior to that, the OG was 1975 and good luck ever finding or getting one of those. Again, thank you as the table turns, go sub his channel. I immediately bought this, it's still out there cheap so go get it i got more stuff from mr bongo coming soon as well i just got four box sets of 45s i've declared this the summer of brazilian funk on this channel so stay tuned for that the next one here was a total shocker because I never saw this guy on YouTube prior to seeing this video and I was blown away by the recommendation and I just recently found the original from this record to even know what this was. First off, go check out Blind Island. The channel was really awesome. Now he mentioned in this video that I got this from that he just became a dad. So congratulations, go sub his channel and tell him congratulations. I basically took a 10 year hiatus from collecting records when my kids came along. So good luck with that, man. He pointed me to this he owe more videos on how to pronounce traditional Irish names. Aoife. 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 Aoife O'Donovan plays Nebraska. And this is just amazing to me because I just got and heard Bruce Springsteen Nebraska last year. And I only got it on a whim just to check it out and it completely blew me away. I never really heard that record before, so much so that I actually started getting into more acoustic folk singer type stuff. And then Blind Island comes along and mentions this at like the perfect time. And he points out in his video that Bruce kind of rushed through making his recording and it was just thrown together on a four track, which if it was man, like 
he's just an absolute genius because that album is so good. But Aoife really gets to take the time and sit with this record and make these tracks her own. And I found some clips on it on YouTube as soon as he mentioned it and it really blew me away. I went right to Discogs and they only pressed a thousand of these. And I was like, oh my God. Luckily, I found one from England from Rough Trade and got it here for the normal price, but I had to pay shipping to get it over here. I think it's really awesome how they recreated the artwork on this as well. This looks very similar to the original Bruce Springsteen, as you can see here. Even the backside looks just like the Bruce Springsteen with all of the same fonts and the colors. It's a really cool recreation for a cool cover design. If you can find this one, get it. Again, thanks to Blind Island for recommending this one. He usually does a lot of good jazz recommendations, so it was a really awesome surprise that he even put, pointed this one out. I think it's just one of those like cosmic things that it was meant to be in the vinyl community. The last one here is also from Rough Trade Records and also an exclusive. The channel Vinyl Dude turned me on to this one and I'm so grateful that he did. Vinyl Dude is from England or somewhere in the UK, I'm not really sure. Again, you should go sub his channel and ask him. He has some great videos about vinyl talking about a lot of newer stuff that I'm not really familiar with, but he also gets into some really good soul and Afrobeat things. And I've seen him mention other really good stuff too. And he recommended this, De La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising, green edition from Rough Trade, and I'm so glad that he did and thankful for this. I knew that De La Soul was coming out with new records and I've been trying to stop myself from buying all colors of all variants of all records that come out and I wasn't sure what color to get and he mentioned to get this green one and I think it was a great way to go. I immediately bought it and then they released the blue and the pink and the yellow and the orange I think from Walmart and I was like they're gonna cancel this because I'm pretty sure in his video that he was talking about this stuff he said that they've canceled it like numerous times or whatever but then they finally sent it and I'm glad that they did so I'm very glad that he recommended the green variant here. So thank you, Vinyl Dude. Also, this De La Soul comes with this really cool comic strip. I'm not sure if this is from the original or not. I never had an original copy, but this is a really sick comic strip. I'm glad that I stuck it out and got the green. I think the green is probably the best variant of this one. If you have one of these variants, definitely let me know in the comment below and definitely go check out Vinyl Dude. This record is obviously amazing. It's iconic, one of the greatest hip hop records of all time. Go check it out if you haven't already. Ready. As you can see here, if you make videos about vinyl records, people will buy them. I will buy them. I have a problem. Crack, want some crack, get you high. Joking aside, these are really cool channels that have made my vinyl collection better, either with their insights into the craft or their recommendations for the great music. I try and will continue to try and support as many vinyl channel creators as I can, since I know that this is not easy to do. And the millions of doubts that can go through your head while you are actually doing this, you wouldn't believe the millions of doubts that I have going through my head right now as I'm making this video. But no, people are watching and could even be making really cool choices from your stuff. So please keep doing it if you have a channel. Get started today if you're thinking about starting a channel. And let me know below if you follow a specific channel that you think I should check out or that you think makes good recommendations. And if you like this video about channels and you want me to make more videos like it, let me know that as well and I will. To me, this is what the vinyl community is and should continue to be, a place to talk about and share records and meet new people. So let's keep it all going. Okay, I've said enough. I'm gonna go listen to that Waltel Bronco and chill. I will see you guys on the next one. I don't know what the f you just said, little kid, but you're special, man.